Good morning and welcome to day two of our Disney Halloween on the High Seas Wish Cruise. We, uh, we slept in a little bit this morning and it was very rough seas last night. Yeah. I actually woke up because it was so rough. Which is surprising because this is the smoothest ship. Well, that's, that made me wonder, like, it must be really rough. Right? So this morning we're headed up to Marceline Market to go and eat breakfast first. Then we have a lot of characters to meet. There's a lot of open house. Jackson's gonna have eggs. He said, I love eggs. He loves eggs. Today is our day at sea. Oh, humidity just hits us as we come outside. So yeah, we're headed to Marceline Market. I wanted to give you guys the hours for Marceline Market. Breakfast from 7 a.m. to 10.45. And then lunch is from noon until two. And they got flowers on the ceiling. You wanna check out the urinal, buddy? Is that what you're coming up to tell me? Yeah. Okay. Also, we know that these things are a little bit hot for Jackson to use, so we're gonna wash his hands in the bathroom. Ooh. They have Halloween, nothing like particularly Halloween-y, but they do have tags that say Happy Halloween. Everything's mostly the same, asparagus, sausage, eggs benedict, quiches. Those quiches were sweet the last time that we tried them. Might try them again. Oh, so they're not quiches, they're flan. That's what it is, it's a sweet crust. Got turkey bacon, roasted tomatoes are a staple on a Disney cruise and I'm still not sure why. Got some eggs back there, got some bacon, regular bacon, we got some hash browns. Then they have hot smoked salmon, gravlocks, and smoked trout. I don't think I showed this last time, but they've got orange guava passion fruit, or pog, pea, passion fruit, orange, and guava. Orange juice, cranberry, apple juice, all the sodas, as well as fuse iced tea. There's definitely coffee, and they do have like another section where you can get upgraded coffee drinks in here. I'm gonna go back there right now and show you guys what I mean. Ginger chicken congee, egg fried rice. Uh, it looks like you could do boiled eggs, crispy fried onions, toasted cashew nut, and then all these other toppings here. You got some sauteed mushrooms, more tomatoes. Got some potatoes over here, roasted red roasted red skin potatoes with peppers and onions. More bacon, corned beef hash. Ooh yeah, and also some more eggs back there. Back here at the kids counter, we've got some Mickey waffles, got some buttermilk pancakes, we have some chocolate chip pancakes, some blueberry pancakes, and then all the toppings that you can want to put on there, including raisin compote. Oh, they also have cream of wheat and then fresh fruit back here. They have boxes of cereal and oatmeal. Hello, how's it going? Barbecue sauce, honey mustard? I don't know what you need that for. Uh, this is to add to your, like, oatmeal, things like this, some banana chips, some apricots. Then you can get some yogurt, some milk, some chocolate milk, different butters and cream cheeses, different jellies that you could add. Of course, to your English muffin back there. There's an English muffin back there. There's some uh, bagels and some toast. Over here at the pantry favorites, you could do different sliced meats, sliced cucumber and tomato, sliced pepperoni and salami. This is like overnight oats and then parfaits. Different parfait. Well, what number did you get? I ordered you a, an omelet. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go sit down. Good morning. How are you? We got soft rolls. Oh, and then we have the good stuff over here. We got some donuts. Chocolate donuts and jelly-filled donuts and assorted danishes and assorted muffins and croissants, multi-grain croissants and plain croissants. Fresh fruit that you can get. And this is also the omelet station, but they have the ham and cheese croissants that are a staple on some of the Disney cruises, and they are delicious. You can also get various things like sausage and bacon and hash browns back here. And then here's everything that you can put in a plant-based scramble. They have all the fresh fruit, and then you can get made-to-order omelets. I don't know if it's just early and an at-sea day, but it's like 8.30 in the morning, but there are a lot of empty tables. I know that I'm in like the bar section right now, but usually this would be full too of people just trying to find places to sit for breakfast. So towards the front of Marsley Market is where you can come to get specialty coffees. These are an extra charge, but they can add little designs to the top of it. Oh, I love it. Happy Friday the 13th with a picture of Michael Myers on it for Halloween. You think that they, once they hit international waters, they're just like, we can do whatever copyright we want. Here's what we got. I got my, Jen ordered me an omelet with all of the meats and some cheese. Jen got some eggs and some bacon and some hash browns and, oh, 
Which one? Oh, he tried mine. He didn't oh, like it. Oh, he didn't like yours? No. It had spinach in it, right? He goes, he said, but spinach is salad. And I said, yeah. And he goes, I love salad. And I said, yeah, Do you? It's, it's a little, it's cooked. He said it was like a, an egg salad. Is that gross? <laughs> oh, because of his octopus book. Yeah. Right, buddy? It's, egg salad's not gross to eat, but it's gross to, to bathe in. So there's a book that we read that's called Thank You Octopus. I have. You should look it up. Eggs and it's pretty good. The octopus helps the kid have a bath in egg salad. On my omelet, I had spinach and mushroom and bacon. I don't know. I don't even like spinach, buddy. All right, after breakfast, we're on a hunt for Donald. He's coming out over here. Oh, look, there's the Royal Gathering, which we have a reservation to go do. So maybe we'll end up down there, too. There, is. Oh, there goes Minnie in her Halloween costume as a witch. I think she's roving. All right, everybody, go say hi to Donald. Big hug, big hug. Good job, buddy. This, this bump? Boom. Should we take a picture? Take his hand, Jackson. Hold his hand. Hold his hand, Jackson. Other hand. There you go. You forgot? <laughs> Can we put up the number one since Donald's number one? Other hand. There you go. There we go. Number one. Look up here, buddy. Yeah. Perfect. Yay. Yay. High five to Minnie. Oh, cute. Did you tell her that you love her costume? Well, Who's you your favorite, right? Jackson? Is it Minnie? Yeah. Does yeah? Yeah. Yes. Jackson's yeah. saying hello to Rapunzel. <laughs> Oh, he wants to go down the slide, but it's closed. Oh my goodness. I'm sure it'll be open a little bit later. That's Pascal's favorite thing to do on the ship. Yeah, it'll be open tomorrow, right, buddy? We slept in. What was that? We slept in. Oh, we slept in. Sometimes you need some relaxing adventures. That's okay. So you don't have a 7 a.m. lineup, or do you usually? He wants to go down the. Do you have a slide? I don't. I haven't gone on it. But I think my tower kind of counted as a slide, just a little bit. It kind of so. slid down my hair. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Similar. Right? Yeah. Jackson, would you like to grow out your hair like Rapunzel? Mm -hmm. Did you see how long it is? It's a longer hair. Could you grow it out as long as this? Look at that. It's touching your toes. Oh, oh my goodness. I have a question, though. Can you brush it three times a day? <laughs> yeah. And do you have a village of girls to raise your hair for you? Tiana's ever been on the slide? I haven't been on the slide, but Naveen said it's a fun time. Oh. Once you get a chance to go, you let me know how it is, all right? Tiana likes to cook. Do you like to cook? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to make in the kitchen? Uh, cookies. 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 You love baking cookies? All right, well, I'm hiring down at my restaurant. You want a job? You come on down to New Orleans, all right? Let's do it, bud. You know what we should do one day, buddy? You know what Tiana's really good at baking? Beignets. Yes, I do love baking beignets. I just picked a fresh batch this morning. Y'all can get them over at the bayou right behind Oh, us. really? Yeah. Oh. Should we try some of Tiana's beignets? Can you do big high five? Big high five like Maui. Big high five. Oh, that's just wow. Maui's strong high five. Jackson, <laughs> Jackson, you want to show Moana who's on my feet? Oh yeah, who's on oh, your feet? Oh my, who is that? You have a friend, you know. So those tattoos also tell stories, just like Maui's. Yeah. You know, my favorite is the mini Maui. <laughs> so now we're telling Jackson that we're gonna go up to the Vibe Open House. And he's a little bit upset this morning that he couldn't, we missed the Oceaneers open house this morning because we planned to go tomorrow. But we're gonna, yeah, we have tomorrow morning. He's swinging on the tree. Oh, yeah, look at that. What is Goofy doing? Did you see Donald too? What's Donald doing? I have this memory as a child watching a Disney VHS tape and it was Goofy and he was trying to be a knight. Okay. That's like a core memory of mine as a kid. Was, does anybody remember this VHS Disney tape of Goofy? He was a, he was a yeah, knight. Yeah, and like he was a, like doing a bad job at he it. He was like jousting. Yeah, and, I remember this. Yeah, that's, I don't know. That just went, popped in my mind when I saw that. All right, we are on deck 12, right where Paulo and Enchante are. But if we make a left, and we head to Hero Zone. So or vibe is. This is one thing that we missed on our last um, cruise. I wanted to see like the teen and tween clubs and we missed it. So this time I wanted to make sure we did it. All right, we're gonna go check out the open house for Vibe, which is the teen club, right? I gotta ask them the age range. Like a cool Mickey Mouse sculpture in here. Oh, they've got Connect Four over here. Gonzo, I'm already in love with this place. Kermit in London? 
I like these neons too. All kinds of different games in here. They've got video games. It looks like we've got an Xbox over here and some Playstations. Maybe? No, that's an Xbox, isn't it? Is this a Playstation? These are Playstations. Got some things ball going out here. Gigantic TV here that it looks like they have Switch set up on. Yeah, so Vibe is 14 to 17. Play Jenga in here. It's actually, this is pretty cool. Like, look at this, like, floor-to-ceiling windows. Hiya, pal. Some, like, kind of fun Instagram-y spots, too. Spoons, I guess. There's a bar here that you could get. Oh, this section's called the hideaway. Okay, so there's two different sections. Vibe there, and then this section that is the hideaway. And eventually, they're going to have smoothies here. The kids will be able to pick different ingredients to put into a smoothie, and then the counselors will blend it for them. Oh, some vinyls up there. Vinyl, what are they called? Vinylmations? Mickey Mouse Disco? Disneyland Records? Look at this. The perfect Instagram spot. This looks like a DJ booth. What's going on back here? Oh, this might be where like the crew members sit. Kind of feels like just like a hangout place. And maybe they would have like parties in here. Bunch of TVs over here too. I think they're having like a Halloween party tonight for the kids. I do have to say they have USBs in here. So they're okay in my book. I'm still like kind of blown away by these floor to ceiling windows. They're very cool. Oh look, you can see people going down the slide. You oh. missed it. Ah. Oh my gosh, the slide's right here. I feel like they're coming any second now. There they go. Heading out on the pool deck, they're watching Beauty and the Beast on Funnel Vision. Also, looks like the Ant-Man was here and he made some beautiful swans. All right, now we're headed to the bayou to do some all ages Halloween oh, crafts. It's in the bayou. This Tiana told us to try her beignets while we yeah. were here. Maybe we should. Yeah, we'll see if they're Starch available. In one minute, but it looks like people have already started. Not entirely sure what we're doing here, but there's some circles up here and some, looks like, Frankenstein bolts and Frankenstein monster hair, right? Oh. So here's what we do. You trace this, right, to make Mickey's face, and then you trace his ears, right? Okay. And then you glue them to your door hanger, okay. and then you trace some neck bolts and some Frankenstein's monster hair, and you put it on Mickey, okay. and then you have a spooky Halloween door hanger. And this we trace this one too? Yeah, you trace it and then you cut it out okay. of these so you, colors you're right here. I'm gonna help cut it, okay? I'm gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna do it by myself. You're gonna help me. So wait, did you get the picture of what it's supposed to look like? It's up to you. Okay. So what color should Mickey be? Do you want him to be blue or purple or orange? Purple? Do you want him to be purple? We're doing it, we're crafting. As a family, because we were in the bayou, we had to stop by and get some of Tiana's beignets. They're hot, buddy. Be careful. Well, remember, don't touch. Don't touch. Remember when Tiana told us that we needed to try some beignets, so we Yeah, do you remember that? It. Remember Tiana said, gotta try some. I also got what they call a New Orleans float, which is a root beer with a salted caramel almond ice cream from haagen -Dazs. I am going to cool them off. Yeah. I also have to dump some of this powdered sugar off or else it's going to be a mess. <laughs> this is his first time trying root beer. What do you think? Love you love it? <laughs> He's never had soda. This is funny. This hey, is the first soda. So there's no caffeine. No caffeine in root beer. But it is spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah, because it's root beer. That's root beer. What's what? Oh, that's the root beer inside. I didn't get any of the um, ice cream. Ice oh yeah, cream. no, you're just getting root beer at the moment. Oh, it's like a really hard ball of ice cream. Yeah, it's a hard packed root beer float. Oh, okay. It's Hagen Dazs. Let's let's let Daddy try it. I have to try some too, bud. You just like you into root beer now? I love it, Daddy. Oh yeah, no. When he was younger. We wanted to not give him anything that was sweets, and then one day we gave him sweets, and now we've created a monster. Look at this, he's like grabbing for them. <laughs> grabbing for those beignets. All right, let me dust some of those powdered sugar off, okay? They do have beignets that come with chocolate, and I wanted to try that, but one of them has alcohol, has like Baileys in it, so we just did regular beignets. Yeah, but you can't get the dipping sauce? They like won't give you the dipping sauce. You have to buy the one with the alcohol. Oh, let me help oh, you. Oh, it's okay. Should we, next time we see Tiana, thank her for the beignets? We'll say, we tried them and they were so good, Tiana. Happy Halloween. That's what we did. 
to say it's a, to sh- convey emotion. Should I give Mickey some eyeballs? Yeah. Oh, mommy's getting adventurous. Should I not? It was perfect. No, I'll give it to her. What the heck does it matter? We left for a second to go running, like to get some energy out, and this is what mommy did. Oh yeah, look at his little—he has a little um, Frankenstein face. Oh, okay. He has just. Um, die. Yeah, well, I'm not very, I'm not very good at drawing, so this is about as artistic as my Mickey's gonna get right now. <laughs> so we came back to the room to put our bathing suits on because we found out that Jackson is tall enough to ride the yellow slide, the Slideosaurus Rex, and then I think we'll play around in the splash pad in the Toy Story Splash Zone. So let's head up there. All right, time to go down the Slideosaurus Rex. Let's see. All right, buddy, we're doing Slideosaurus. Are you ready for it? We just gotta do some waiting, okay? All right, here we are. We just gotta wait for the green light now. You excited? Yeah, I am. Yeah? All right, as soon as it turns green, that means you can go, okay? Yeah. All right, keep an eye on it. Okay. It'll be, so, it'll have probably, oh, there you go, green light, buddy, go ahead. Go for it, buddy. Go ahead, slide on down. Here we go. Go ahead. Whee! There he comes. Here he goes. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. That's why you're supposed to lie down, I guess. He's getting stuck. There he goes. Whoa! Whee! Whoa! We're really picking up speed now. Here we go! Whoa! Let's watch them! What did you think? Yes, good! You gonna go again? Yes! Yeah. Alright, let's do it. I love getting stuck. You love getting stuck? You were going real slow, bud. You gotta try to lay down. It might, might be because you don't weigh very much. Fast as you can. Whee! There he comes. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. He's trying to speed himself up. There he goes. All right, green light for me. Here we go. <laughs> Super speed. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! Woohoo! Oh, we're going quick. Oh, we're going quick. Flash out. Now we're heading into the Toy Story Splash Zone. Do a couple of little slides in here. Okay, go. All right, so now we're done playing in the splash pad and going down the slides and all that other fun stuff. Now we gotta go get some lunch. So I think we're gonna head down to 1924 as a sit down restaurant for lunch. Let's go check it out, see what they have. Sanderson sisters are out again. They'll be out maybe like two or three more times throughout this cruise. Right now we're headed to 1923. I think I said 1924 upstairs, but 1923, we're heading into the Roy side. Jen and Jackson are already sitting at the table. I think we had breakfast in here last cruise. All right, Disney difference right here. They don't serve hot dogs at this restaurant. No, but he kept saying he wanted a hot dog, so they said, we can look, we'll get you a hot dog. So they went up to Festival of Foods and got him one and made a little magic. Yeah. And he's so happy. Right, bud? <laughs> look at him going at that hot dog. <laughs> and then, like Mom, right. we were saying, look at you eating that hot dog. So this is the Serrano ham and Machego cheese with like a bruschetta bread. You're gonna help me eat this one. And then he recommended the calamari. He said this was like a, a favorite, so I had to try it. And Jackson's gonna help you eat that one. I think so. And then I got, as you would guess, a hamburger with some french fries. Basically just like hamburger with cheese and lettuce and onion and pickles, but I asked for bacon on there too. Jen got one of the chef recommended choices. So it's grilled halibut with saffron rice, tomato, and olive sauce on the bottom. Let me ask you. Yeah. Why'd you, why'd you pick the halibut? Is this a dad joke? Yeah. <laughs> just for the halibut. <laughs> Mommy and Jackson are splitting the... We- this doesn't look as beautiful as it once did. I, we already started digging in. So this is a strawberry, we call it the Jackson Strawberry Surprise, but it has an actual name on the it's video. It's like strawberry and like a puff pastry with oh. some kind of cream. I'll find out. It looks good. And then I got the hazelnut molten lava cake. Mm. So it's called the Fresh Strawberry Mille Frule. Layers of puff pastry crust, vanilla pastry cream, and fresh strawberry. It looks really, really good. See if you can pronounce those words. 
French. I did also want to mention that this was all included in our price of our cruise this lunch. So for dinner you have your rotational dining and you're assigned a restaurant that's included in the cost of your cruise. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch you can either go to Marceline Market, which is where we ate breakfast this morning. The buffet. The buffet. You can go to the Festival of Foods, which is up on deck 11. Or you can come to, and then you have to pick a specific sit-down restaurant or is it all the sit-down restaurants? No, it's just this is the only one. Just this open. one. You have to check your navigator app to see which one's open. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that was open today, and that's why we came here. And it was so good. Yeah, and we're not, we don't have to pay any extra for it. So just drop Jen and Jackson off in the room, and they are going to be having a nap. Now I'm going to find Chip and Dale. We've got a few other things, probably mostly character experiences that we're going to be doing, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see, see Chip and Dale, hopefully in their Halloween costumes. I don't know. There's no real way to tell what they're going to be dressed as, but today is all Halloween festivities, so I would imagine they should be in their Halloween costumes. They always make such an entrance. Chip, Dale, how's it going? How I you? love your Halloween costumes. Yeah, and you guys made them yourselves? You did? Okay. Daisy didn't help. A little, a little tiny bit, just kind of, right? So you're a poison apple, right? That doesn't seem safe at all. And then you're inside of a candy cauldron, which seems okay because you don't want to heat candy up, right? It's just like a bowl to store candy in. Right, it's good. Is it okay if we take, oh yeah, and your cheeks too. The cheeks will store the candy and then the bowl will store any that don't fit into your cheeks. Right, is it okay if we take a photo together? So earlier in this video, we did what is called the Princess Gathering and you have to book that ahead of time in the, uh, in the app before you even sail and it's kind of hard to come by and that was where we met Rapunzel, we met Tiana, we met Cinderella, and we met Moana. But after kind of exploring the Navigator app, it kind of seems like you can meet those princesses at various times throughout the cruise without doing the Royal Gathering, which is, like I said, hard to get into. So right now there's a line for me to meet Tiana on the Royal Staircase or on the Grand Staircase. So I know that you can meet Tiana. I know that Cinderella also had a meet and greet here earlier today. The only one that I'm not sure about is Moana and Rapunzel, but I think that you probably could meet them at various times. It would take more effort to get to the, like the different times to meet all four of the princesses than it would to just go to one princess gathering. But if you miss the chance to do the royal gathering, there is the possibility that you can meet all the princesses at another time during your cruise. Here in the bayou, they're getting ready to do Disney Toons trivia. Uh, I think I showed up a little bit late to participate, but it'd be fun to just kind of sit here and listen, see if we can guess the songs. Oh, welcome to a very special Disney Toons trivia. Who's excited? Yeah. This is knowledge of all things of Disney Toons tune number one. This is from Tarzan. Played by Eddie Murphy. Sidekick. Right? Who knows? Here is Mushu. Disney Tune once more. All right, <laughs> let's move on to Disney Tune number five. It sounds like this. That I have no idea. I feel like I thought I knew Disney music before this. But I don't. A bit confused on that one. It's okay. We're gonna move on to question number fifteen. This is the Disney tune. Oh. This is from Aristocats. <laughs> this is called something in our petty arpeggios. It is Aristocats. Yeah. I didn't do anything, but I will take the applause. All right, so. I decided, uh, let's try bingo. Why not? I just ran to the bathroom, but I already paid for my bingo tablet. And for $50, I got 48 playing cards. 
and uh, it's on a tablet. I'll show it everything to you guys, and then we're gonna go inside and play. Okay, so this is what I have. I have a tablet here. It's like a Windows tablet, and they're gonna start calling out the balls, and it's gonna fill in for me. Oh, look, I can make, what am I doing here? I'm just like changing through cards, looking at them. I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm actually doing, but the numbers are changing. Oh yeah, you can also get just paper cards and fill them out yourself. I chose to go with the, the easy way in my opinion. It just does it for me. I just, it'll say, call out bingo. And that's when I call out bingo. All right, so they showed the prices up on the screen and I went up and took a photo of it. So they have a 24 card handset, which is the tablet, was $40. A 48 card handset, which is what I got, was $50. A family pack is two 24 card handsets. So two 24 card tablets for $60, which is more expensive than the 48 card single handset. I guess that way you're playing, like more than one person is playing. This is why it's just confusing, right? And then a three card paper pack folder for $20. So one piece of paper with three cards on it, $20. Probably uh, the most confusing ever. But like this, the 48 card pack on the tablet is the best deal. Excellent rule number one. Can kids play bingo? Yes. Yes, you are correct. Of course kids can play bingo and kids can win. However, we must make sure that all children are accompanied by an adult over the age of 18 at all times throughout the session. This is vacation bingo. Whenever I call the number, you just gotta watch the screen and it's gonna automatically highlight on that screen in front of you. Now, when you are one number away from a good claim of bingo, the number that you need to win is going to turn red. This is a good thing, so please keep an eye out for those red numbers. It means that you are getting closer to a claim of bingo. What's the magical word you've got to say when you win? Bingo! Bingo, indeed, and I want to hear it loud and proud. First number out is G53. G53. Oh, I got a bunch of them. Look at them all. Do you need I number 20? Bingo! Oh. We got oh. bingo! Holy cow! They got bingo right away. I just won three hundred sixty-seven dollars. Holy cow! That was, winner, that was a warm-up. Winner, everybody say clutching. 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 Congratulations that for this game. Scared. You can see it up on the screen right here. We're playing one of my personal favorites. It's the floating six-pack game of bingo. I want you to think of it as a little Lego block okay. anywhere on your bingo card, and yes, your free space is included. All right. In the N column now, we've got N38. M38. I'm N so confused. N number 38, if you got to oh, so say what, that okay, is. So this is the same one. Everybody standing up is one away. Lots of y'all are standing. From getting bingo. At this point, you're going to be splitting a smoothie. <laughs> oh, no. We're in the I column. Oh, people are excited oh, about I. the bingo win. Do you need I number 16? Oh. We got to Oh, I've got, we got a uh, I just got this, I almost got to stand up. Oh, so close. You are walking away with our second cash payout of $428. Holy I want to make I it a little more interesting, but now. similar, okay? This seems We're going to play the floating postage stamp All game right. of bingo. Now it's four numbers four. all clumped together anywhere together. on your card, this but exciting. this time it does no not free include space. your free oh. space. Oh, dramatic! I right, almost had it scene. just then. Two claims. This is our five thousand dollar mega jackpot session of bingo. Oh. It pertains to this final game. You have to get the entire get card. Up, you know how this Holy is Holy macaroni. You have so you have to cover your whole card in 46 I numbers or less. Say. And if you don't, if nobody gets that, then it goes over to the next. Oh. Perfect then it goes over to the next game, game. Like, like the G next time that they do it, like later in the cruise. Got G59. So I think we're just going to like cruise G through this. I number Still 16 away. So I'm past the point of no return. I cannot get the grand prize. Because we're at 40 we number four. called, and seven, seven left. Six Takes left now. Yes, it is I Ooh. 27. Okay, so the $5,000. Nobody won the $5,000. 
I have six left on a lot of cards. It's five of my six cards. Do you need O number 62? I do, yeah. Woo! Two great. away. Are you oh, one getting away? excited. Two. Two right. numbers away here, too. But it looks like excited. we are one number away. Down here, you know what to do, Disney oh. Wish. It's time to sing along. Oh, yeah. Clap along. Let's be number three. Okay, this is good. I get to stand up. Be number All right. three. I'm standing up. Rise. All right. Oh, it's two one. Uh, at least I got to stand up for a little bit. Two people. Oh my gosh, I was so close. So three Double, triple people. Do we have any other claims of bingo one. in the room on I-21? Speak now, or forever hold your bingo. Say it with me. Peace. Three lucky winners will be splitting our final cash payout of $673! Well, I lost it, bingo. It was still fun. I'm a little bit sweaty now because I was very excited for that last card, but still had a good time. $50 down the drain. What are you gonna do? So after bingo, I came to the Grand Hall. Right now, Minnie is meeting, but her line ends, I think, like right around there, but we are waiting for Mickey after Minnie. Mickey, how's it going? I like your outfit. You are truly Count Mikula. There he is. Yeah, it's perfect. Are you all excited for the mouse parade tonight? Yeah, I am too. I'm excited for the candy. Is it okay if we take a photo together? All right, so now it's time for dinner. We're a little bit late, about five, ten minutes late to dinner. We're headed to Arendelle. Arendelle. Oh, Wandering Oakin's hearty party. Yes, there he is, Olaf, the man of the hour. 205. Hang in there, Joan. I think we have a better view this time, which will be nice. You think I should get a zero proof? What is it? It's worth melting for passion fruit, coconut, and pineapple, or warm hugs, coconut, ice cream, strawberries, and coffee. I wouldn't get that one. I feel like I need a spreadsheet for stuff that I've eaten already. What did I have? You had the chicken. I had the chicken and it was delicious. So do I want the pork tenderloin this time? I might try it. Or the ribeye. Which one do I want? I just want to point out that they do have something called the Maelstrom Trio. And Maelstrom is the name of the ride that was taken over at Epcot by Frozen Ever After. For bread, we have a six grain Viking loaf. Oh, I love it. It's like a, it looks like a little muffin. It looks like a little muffin. Looks like a house. House. That's a little bread house. And then the dip is a roasted onion dip. What? I know, that's silly, isn't it? Who puts a roasted onion dip on their house? favorite Weezer song that's in a Disney movie called Frozen 2. So I got the worth melting for where it was $5.50 and it is fresh passion fruit, coconut, and pineapple. Which sounds delicious. Big old Olaf. This is interesting to me because the last time we were on, Olaf was carted out on a cart. This is a pretty good seat, but it's sunset right now, 
and the sun is beaming in at my eyes. Oh, we're supposed to be toasting. Sorry. The Queen Anna and Kristoff. Wandering Oaken is just kind of wandering around talking to everybody. Oh, he's wandering. Oh, got it. Took me a second there. Hello, families. Hello. Are you enjoying party? Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you come to my first party in Arendelle Castle with Party Party Planning Services, yeah? Yeah. Woo. You all come to Big Summer Bluff, yeah? Yes. I give you all 4% off. Woo! Oh, that's good. And I throw in a sun bomb on my own invention, yeah? Ooh. All right, families, I see you at Big Summer Bluff, okay? Yes. Bye-bye, <laughs> families. Bye-bye. When I was looking at Wandering Oaken, they threw down a, a ham tart, and I almost put my elbow in it. This is what Jackson ordered. He ordered the steak and shrimp. This was really nice. What is this thing? This was the baked scallop. Holy macaroni. This looks wild. This is my ham and Jarlsberg cheese tart. I don't know what's on the end over here. I'm going to have to look on my app to see what this is. It's Gala Apple and Williams Pear Compote. Okay, so I got Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops with shrimp tarragon bisque, rainbow carrots, leeks, and a flaky pastry. I'm going to cut it open and I'll show you the inside. Oh no, Jackson and Tim went to the bathroom. And I think he's going to miss Anna and Kristoff. Hi! Hi, everybody else is in the bathroom. That's okay, maybe we'll have to come back Okay. <laughs> can you can you say hi to Jackson? Hi Jackson. See, you should come visit. He's he'll be he'll be right back. He's, he's the one in the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, at least I got them to say hi to him. I'm sad that he missed out, but. They did come over to the table, and this time we got to see them, which was really nice. I created a little hole in my in my puff pastry, so you could see in there a little carrot, a little scallop, like a creamy bisque. It looks very yummy. This is what's inside of my crispy, flaky crust. It has some baked scallops and some carrots. It's kind of a little bit sweet, but it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. Bye. Here's what I got. I got the garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye, double baked potato, buttered broccoli, sweet honey roasted carrots, and cabernet jus. And then Jen got the King Agner's dry rubbed roasted pork tenderloin, butter chard, honey butternut squash, Yukon gold potato puree, crisp shallots, red currant pork wine reduction. I feel like those are just onion rings. They're not crisp shallots. <laughs> So good to see you. Thank you for celebrating with us. I'll be sure to tell Sven you said hi, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Jackson, what's Thank on you your very shirt? Much. Thank you. So good to see all of you. Thank you. Jackson, what is even on your shirt? Oh. A ghosty and a pumpkin. But so space theme. I told them um, that they, I, when they came by, I told the camera, they know, but I was like, everybody's in the bathroom. <laughs> so they're not here right now. And they said, we'll see if we can try to come back. So that was really nice. Yeah, that they was actually really nice. I didn't think they were going to really do that. So that was nice. Yeah. How shall we be continuing the lovely music you are wondering? Pumpkin can't idea, but it may require the musical skill and help of you all. As the kingdom of isolation, and it looks like on the queen. Pretty TV team, baby, no time. You sound just like a young when you serve Elsa froze the whole room. Oh 
my goodness, there's a Kermit the Frog here. And a swan. I don't know where Jen and Jackson ended up. Did you guys go dancing? Did you have fun dancing? He's like more excited about the ice cream, I think. What? Oh, Olaf. What is happening? We got some ice cream, and it's got a special chocolate on the top of it for Halloween. It's very hard to concentrate with Into the Unknown blasting on the violin, but it sounds really good. So we came up to deck 11 to go to the trick-or-treating to the mouse parade, and they were just like giving us candy. Yeah. I got uh, five, four bags. Jackson has one and Jen has one. They, we told them no and they said, no, no, you're taking it. Yeah, because today's the last day that they're giving out candy. Oh, he said there was so much candy. And he's like, day. we have so much, please take it. What so is this? This is for the mouse parade. Oh, no. There's a show. It's, a, it's in like 15 minutes. Okay. All right, we've got our spot for Mickey's mouse parade party. We came back to the room and they gave us a pumpkin for our, like, it's not a towel. I wouldn't they call this a, a blanket. It's a blanket animal. Blanket animal. How wow. fun is that? Oh, that's cool. I love that. Right? And they used a makeup, a makeup uh, washcloth. Wash that's so good. I love that. Jackson's drinking lemonade and he requested a coffee lid for it. So at the end of the party, though, he goes, I think I'm done now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Me too, kid. Yeah, a too. lot of fun. We have. I lemonade. have water, you have lemonade, but I just, I needed water. It was so hot up there. Like, 
You would think that it would be a little cooler for Halloween, but not on the high seas. Oh well, yeah, we're just outside of the Bahamas. I know, it was very <laughs> warm. But that was really cute. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was very, um, like, more crowded than I thought it was going to be. But I loved the little show. I thought that was super cute. I think it would be a good idea to get there, like, 15 minutes ahead of the show. Well, like, so candy distribution starts at 7.15. I would get there at 7.15 and go up to deck 12 and watch down. No, he does not. Because that would be the best bet. Because you'll be less crowded up there. You don't get like the interaction with the characters, like everybody else dancing around or anything like that. But if you just want to see the view, Deck 12 is the place to be. Now I came back to the Grand Hall to do some character meet and greets. We got Donald way up there. We got Minnie down here. We got Chip and Dale over here. We got Mickey right there. And of all those people, we've met them all. I need to meet Daisy. So I have to find out where Daisy's meeting. 10 o'clock just hit, Kiss Goodnight is happening. Hey Daisy, how you doing? You look fantastic for Halloween. Oh yeah, I like it. Very spidery. And you made this all yourself? Yeah. I think the real question is, how many of the other costumes around the ship did you also make? Because I feel like it was all of them, right? All of them turned out spectacularly. All right, I think that was the last of the character costumes that I needed to see on this cruise for Halloween. Uh, today was a fantastic day. I, they, we did so much stuff. I cannot even remember what we actually did today. Like I know that we uh, we went to the princess gathering. I think we went up to the vibe. We did so many things. It was so much fun. And that's the thing about these cruises. Oh, we also went down the slides. I mean, there's just like a lot of stuff that we did. And that's the thing about these cruises is there's so much to do all the time. And it was such a fantastic day and such a fantastic time that. I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. So all in all, fantastic day. I know I said fantastic a lot, but it really was. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>